now 38. Think back a long time to when Lizzie yeah. was graded at Sinai. So it's nice oh, to be that's, ex that's exciting. Mazel tov. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Linda and Saul. Oh, I can't hear her very well. We never can oh. <laughs> in the beginning. Okay. Let me text somebody. Yeah. So if you know the words, please join us. If you don't know the words, you can hum them or you can hum them with your body by moving from side to side, okay? Is everyone going to help us sing? Okay. Hine matovu manayim. So thank you, Rabbi. This is actually a very, very happy holiday. So I invite everybody, if you feel like dancing or moving, okay, if you're like tired, you want to get up and just jump around, so please feel free, right? This is a very happy holiday. And clap your hands. And, uh, and we wish you a Chag Sameach. And we are going to start in your blue books and in front of you on page 384. We're going to start with 384 with, the, with candle lighting. And that's also, we bring light in for each of our holy days as we kindle the Yom Tov lights. Join us, please, in the blessing, page 384. <laughs> Amen, amen. And if you are ready, we're going to, in just a moment, we're going to turn to Kiddush, but just before that, I thought your Hine Matov was good but I know it can be great. So I wonder if we could do Hine Matov one more time, a little bit faster. Do you think you could do it a little bit faster this time, how good it is for us to be together? And, uh, and we will continue now. We will turn to page 389, the bottom of page 389, as we share these words for Simchat Torah. We hope that all of you who are starting school this season for the first time, these are the words that we say to you and the words that we say to all who are lifelong learners on Simchat Torah as we celebrate. May our eyes spike, sparkle with the light of Torah and our ears hear the music of its words. May the space between each letter of the scrolls bring warmth and comfort to our soul. May the syllables draw holiness from our heart, and may this holiness be gentle and soothing to us and to all God's creatures. Let's continue on page 394. As you are warmed up now, we'll turn to our call to worship, the Bar Hu, and we'll ask everybody please to rise in body or in spirit. Oh, <laughs> 
continue on page 396 as we say, praised are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly course according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Tsevaot is your name. Ever living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamaariv Aravim. We say Hafuchba Vehafuchba. We say if we turn the Torah and we turn it, we can find everything in it. Every story that we can imagine can be found in the Torah. The beautiful shields that you are wearing, so many of you who decorated them with Torah scrolls, every story you can imagine is in that Torah. And for all of us who have been learning for, for maybe a little bit longer, we know that if you look hard enough, you can find all the stories and all the lessons that we are looking to find and to draw meaning from. Source of life, every year you plant within us a new tree of life. May it be your will that this year our Torah blossoms with kindness and not cruelty, with wisdom and not foolishness, awareness and not thoughtlessness. May you teach us a Torah of love that will nourish us in every season. And we will continue together with the Shema on page 400. seated please be seated <clears throat> raise your hand if you ever have a dream let us know if you ever have a dream and let us know if your dreams ever wake wake you up and make you have a smile do you ever have a smile when you dream yeah so that's what we talk about at this joyous time at this time when we're especially happy we say hold fast to dreams for if dreams die, life is like a broken winged bird which cannot fly. We are supposed to hold on to those great dreams. For when dreams go, life is barren. We gotta hold on to those dreams and then we look to make them a reality. And so we will continue now with the singing of Micha Mocha on page 406, which reminds us that dreams can become real, the most joyous, the happiest of dreams, like our freedom and everybody's freedom happen when we sing and dream together. So when we are happy, we also dance, right? So you guys are welcome to come in the middle, in the aisle. You know, you can just, you know, dance around. So you need to get your wiggles out.
Now, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but I'm going to tell you there's a grown-up in this room who is, in fact, a dance teacher. And that teacher can tell if you're dancing with a full heart, with a happy heart, just if that person can see your shoulders moving. So I wonder if we could just hear the refrain one more time, and if in your seats you could show us and all know if that dance teacher can actually see you dancing just from your shoulders, if that person gives me a special look, okay? You ready to move your shoulders to dance? You dream your dreams with your shoulders and dance your dance, ready? Sure, sure. So the, the next song is official law on page 647, and it's a very good dancing song. Be, be, at least for your shoulders. Let's see your shoulders dancing. Ready? Gave the turn around, turn around. You got a thumbs up. I wasn't going to give up the identity, but you got a thumbs up. Excellent dancing. That is how we know this time is joyful, right? And happy because your body tells us that you're happy, and your voices and your eyes, all of it tells us that you are happy. So now we come to, to this time, students, when you are actually, this is all about you, when we celebrate Torah. And we celebrate the reading of the Torah, which is the, the scrolls that we have in the ark, that we finish reading the end of the story. And unlike when you read a book at home and you close up the book and maybe you get tucked in and you go to sleep, this amazing set of stories we finish reading and then we go right back to the beginning and we start reading it again. How many of you have a favorite book at home? How many of you want to read it again? Not just one time, but read, want to read it again. Adults, how many of you have a favorite book that you think about rereading, right? Right, right. That is actually what we learned, that we're never finished learning and experiencing this story. So this is Simchat Torah. This is our celebration of the reading of our story. And this is consecration when we celebrate you who are learning. And so we are going to actually Invite all grown-ups and their, their children to sit a little bit closer, and I'll invite Mr. Adar and Mrs. Rosenberg up to call up the new students and to hand out your, to, to receive your, uh, your certificates and your own Torah scrolls. Oh, yeah. 
Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Jonathan, who is our special helper in the back, if all the parents who are here with consecration stand, um, students would raise their hand, Jonathan's going to hand you a prayer, a prayer Jonathan, sheet. Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, come here. Yeah. So parents, if you would raise your hand to let Jonathan know right behind you. And maybe, Jonathan, if there are two parents, they could get two copies, so right, one right there and one right, right here. Two sets of parents, perfect. And parents right here behind your brother, right behind your brother. Thank you, Jonathan. This is the prayer that we are, are going to invite the parents to share. Maybe put a hand on your son or daughter's shoulder or on their kepi on their head. And we recite this parent's prayer together. O oh God, our creator and our teacher, bless these children who have come into your sanctuary with eager minds and hearts. This day may they be consecrated to the study of Torah, to lives of loyalty and goodness. Thus will they bring joy to all who love them and honor to the household of Israel. Strengthen them and guide them in all their ways. And then all of us join together in saying, Amen. 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 And we say this blessing as well, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kidshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Ligadel Banim Uvanot La Torah. We praise you, eternal our God, sovereign of the universe. You make us holy with your mitzvot and command us to bring up our children in the paths of Torah. And if you want to give your kids a hug or a kiss at this, this beautiful sacred moment, that would be most excellent as well. And then this is the prayer that we, all of us, whether you are a new learner or a seasoned learner, whether you are a teacher or a parent or a grandparent, share together. We, we say our, the watchword of our faith, the Shema. So we'll invite you please to close your eyes because that is a way for us to concentrate a little bit more and to offer the Shema together. Shema Yisrael Parents, you will see that there should be a talit at the end of your row. And we'll ask you now, there should be a prayer shawl at the end of your row. Um, to take that prayer shawl, or if you need to, if you're a bit part of a bigger family, and put your prayer shawl around your, your own shoulders and then extend it to that of your, your son or daughter or sons and daughters, so that all families are under one talit. This shelter of peace, this shelter of love, some do it around their shoulders, some do it above their heads. You should be wrapped in this prayer always, and we will offer you God's blessing at this time. May God bless you, and may God keep you. May God's fullness be turned to you, and may God be gracious and tender with you. May you know the fullness of God's countenance, of God's presence, and may you be blessed under this most excellent fort of holiness with peace. And we all of us join together in saying, Amen. 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 And we join together in saying, Keep your telly toad on because we're going to read from the Torah or you can set it aside if you would like. We're going to ask everybody when we take the Torah scrolls out of the ark, 
We're gonna read the end of that story that I told you about, and then we're gonna start again a little bit. The cantor's gonna read for us. So we're going to ask you, please, to join us in singing David Melech Israel and Romamu, as you, please, in body or in spirit, as you rise and sing or sway with us. Okay, guys, so you just line up on the marching, the marching aisle, right? You can jump, and this is how you welcome the Torah, this dancing. that are familiar to you, and you can be seated. The blessing, you will find the blessing. We're going to share the bracha before Torah reading together on page 498. And then we'll invite you to rise again as we take the next Sefer Torah out of Sefer Torah out of the Ark. So we're going to rise one more time. Starting from the very beginning. Very 
Turn to page 498 and share the blessing for after the reading of the Torah again. Baruch And then as we are going to return the Torah to the Ark, we're gonna ask you to do two things. We're gonna ask you to stand and then Dan, uh, Jonathan is gonna give out flags to everybody. And we are going to, just before we give you your flags, we're gonna make kiddush. And then you can dance with your flags and you can grab a sweet treat on the way out that your learning should always be sweet in your mouths, sweet in your, sweet, sweet in your whole being. And we hope that you will sing with us and dance with us as well. So join us please as we rise. And kiddush on page 386. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Boreh Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bahar Bonu Mikol Amir Vamanu Mikol Eshan Vegrishan Vemitzvotav Vatitin Lan Adonai Eloheinu Beahava Hashmini HaKatser Hazez Mantim Hateinu Mikra Kodesh Zeher litziat mitraim ki vonu vaharta vetanu kidoshta mikol amim umodei kotshcha besimcha ubesalason inchaltanu baruch atanai mekadesh Israel vechazmanim amen lechayim. And we'll return the Torah to the Ark, and you can march in on the spot. And in one moment, you'll have your flags, and you can march with your flags as well. Okay. <laughs> up and down the aisle. You can march in the back room in the social hall. You can march and wave your flags and you can take a sweet treat home if okay with your grown-ups who are here with you and we wish you a Chag Sameach.